Welcome to Retain Healthcare's training on COVID-19. COVID-19 is a new illness that can affect your lungs and airways. It's caused by a virus called the coronavirus. It's spread from person to person, mainly through the droplets produced when an infected person speaks, coughs or sneezes. These droplets are too heavy to travel far in the air and they can only travel approximately one metre and they can quickly settle on surfaces. The exact time that the virus can survive on a surface is not yet known, so it is wise to clean surfaces regularly, particularly in the vicinity of people infected with COVID-19. You are asked to stay at home if you have the symptoms. The symptoms are a high temperature, a new continuous cough. How long should you stay at home? If you have symptoms of coronavirus, you need to stay at home for seven days and isolate yourself. If you live with somebody who has the symptoms, you need to stay at home from four, for 14 days from the day the first person in the home started having symptoms. If you live with somebody who is 70 or over, has a long term condition, is pregnant or who has a weakened immune system, then you need to try and find somewhere else for them to stay or you to stay for 14 days. If you have to stay at home together, try and keep away from each other as much as possible. Things that you must do. Wash your hands with soap and water often and do it for at least 20 seconds. Wash your hands when you get home, go into work, before any task or after any task. Use a hand sanitizer gel if soap and water are not available. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue or your sleeve when you cough or sneeze. Put used tissues into a closed bin immediately and wash your hands afterwards. Avoid contact with people who have symptoms of coronavirus. Only travel on public transport if you need to and if possible work from home. Avoid social activities. Pubs, clubs, cafes, restaurants, etc. have now been told to close. Use phone and online services or apps to contact your GP surgery or other NHS services. GP surgeries are now mainly closed to face-to-face -to -face appointments. What you shouldn't do is touch your eyes, nose or mouth if your hands are not clean. Do not have visitors to your home, including your friends and family. Hand washing is the most important thing at this time and getting it right is m really important. We need to follow the steps as the, the World Health Organization has stated. Firstly, wet your hands. This stops your hands getting dry. Apply enough soap to cover all your hand surfaces. Rub your hands palm to palm. Rub the back of each hand with the palm of the other with fingers interlaced. Rub palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Rub the back of your fingers to the opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rub each thumb clasped in the opposite hand using a rotational movement. Rub the tips of fingers in opposite palm in a circular motion. Rub each wrist with the opposite hand, then rinse your hands with water. Use your elbow to turn off the tap or a paper towel. Dry thoroughly using a single use towel. If you are using an alcohol gel, put into one hand, cross the palm with the fingers, tips, pour some into your other palm and do the same. Interlock your fingers and rub the backs of both hands and then in between your fingers also. Cover all surfaces of both hands and up to the wrist and keep going until the alcohol dries. PPE, very, very important. So PPE is a gown, gloves, a mask and glasses or goggles. Before you put your PPE on, make sure you wash your hands. Put your gown on first, fully covering your torso from the neck to the knees, arms to the end of your wrists. Tie the gown at the back. Next, put on your mask. Make sure that it covers both your nose and your mouth 
and it has a tight seal. Then next place on your eye protection and lastly put on your gloves. Make sure your gloves cover the gang to your wrists. A final message from the Director of Retain Healthcare. We have not seen anything like this situation before and hopefully we won't again in our lifetime. This is a historical moment in the healthcare sector and what we do now will be remembered for years to come. Let's put, look back in years to come and know we did our best. Your amazing commitment is so gratefully needed by your community. Heroes, each and every one of you.